Hi, my name is Gino. Welcome to another video tutorial by LearnHowToScreenPrint.com and Wichita Screen Printing. And in today's video, we're going to talk about discharge printing and creating a soft hand on the shirt. Let's get started. All right, so in this shirt here, we used discharge ink. Um, the ink, it will display, excuse me, displace the black dye in the shirt. It displaced it and left red ink, left white ink, and that was it. This was just a two color print. That is white ink. We just used the halftone image to create that faded look. Okay, so with discharge, it does require mixing. And let's take a look on how to mix the inks. All right, so we're going to scoop out some white discharge ink here. All right, that'll get us started. We now need to add some discharge activator. Let me close that up. All right, so we're going to zero out our scale. I'm going to tear that there. Okay. So now we can add this. And we know that we have 208 grams of discharge pigment and ink in there. So we need to add 6% activator. And it's 6% by weight. So we'll take 208 times 0 0.06 equals 12.48. So now we need to add 12.48 grams of activator. All right, so we're going to re-zero our scale. We have our discharge activator here. Okay, that's four, six, eight, All right, 10, I need two more. Okay, 12. Okay, and since um, it's 0.48, we're going to add a little bit more. There we go. All right. So now we need to mix those together. And now we have activated our discharge ink. Um, with this discharge, particular brand of discharge ink, I think this discharge is good for eight hours from the day, excuse me, from the time that you mix the ink. So now we've got eight hours to use it. As you can see, this white discharge is pretty thick. So a lot of times I'll add a additive to it or often just water, just a little bit of water or additive. That will make it a little bit thinner easier to work with on the press. All right, as you can see, we've got it mixed up here. So let's move over to the press and run a discharge print. All right, so we've got our shirt already on the board here. We've got it to the correct number. We're gonna lower the screen. Um, we moved our screen over. We're gonna do kind of a side print, like in the shirt that I'm wearing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some discharge ink to the screen. All right. All right, so we've got our discharge ink on the screen. I'm going to grab the squeegee. We've got about the correct alignment to have the shirt printed on the side there. So let's go ahead and run a print quick flood of the screen. When I'm flooding, I'm just covering the design. I'm not really forcing too much of it down into the screen. Um, you know, a little bit of it will go down into the screen, but that's not your uh, objective. It's just to flood the screen there. Let's run a print. Discharge, we're going to give it two hits. Flood the screen. There we go. All right, as you can see, the ink is pretty opaque. I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off here. The ink is pretty opaque, but it's not quite bright, bright white. Um, discharge ink will fully activate in the conveyor dryer. So we're going to go ahead and pop the shirt loose of the board and throw it in the conveyor dryer. All right, so we're going to send the shirt through the conveyor dryer. Um, with the discharge ink, one of the most important things is the amount of time that it's in the conveyor dryer. and 
forced air. Um, it's, it's really recommended to use forced air with a conveyor dryer when you're printing discharge ink. So we're using a BBC's industry forced air conveyor dryer. We're gonna turn the forced air on. And that little button right there, that really uh, helps us cure these forced, or excuse me, cure, cure these discharge ink shirts. Um, so now the air is forcing the water out of the discharge ink so the ink can start activating and curing. We're gonna raise the time that the shirt is in the chamber. We're gonna bump that up to a minute and a half. We've got our temperature set at 500 degrees. Um, it really won't get up to 500 degrees. It's still gonna stay around 320, 340 um, with that forced air. So let's go ahead and take a look at the end of the conveyor dryer and watch as the shirt comes out. All right, so the shirt's coming out now. It was in the chamber for about a minute and a half. Let's go ahead and check the temperature. Okay, so that's 340 degrees. Perfect. Uh, the recommended temperature for curing discharge ink is 320, but um, you know, if I get over by 20 degrees, um, I don't think it hurts it. If you take a look here, the print is much more opaque, a lot brighter. And this is actually a 50-50 blend shirt. This is a gild and dry blend. Um, discharge ink is recommended for cotton shirts only, but we do use it for a 50-50 blend um, only when it's a heather colored shirt. Heather meaning the speckles in the shirt. For some reason, the heather shirts will discharge really well. All right, so for discharge ink, um, like I said, one of the most important things is to use forced air. We're using a BBC conveyor dryer. Um, if you're looking for a nice conveyor dryer, visit our website, learnhowtoscreenprint.com. Click on the BBC banner and uh, Thank you for watching this video tutorial brought to you by LearnHowToScreenPrint.com. For more tips and tutorials, visit our website, LearnHowToScreenPrint.com. Until next time, happy printing.